Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial on the Logo Creator software by Laughing Bird Software. Today I'm going to show you how to create fake 3D text with the Logo Creator. It's a really cool technique I use in a couple of my logos when I design the templates, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first, let's let's choose a logo. So let's, for now, since I have it up, I'm going to choose the Alphabet Edition. And we're going to select a template. This is a good one for now. All right, so we have our template. Um, let's move some pieces out of the way here for a second so we can work on the text. Now this, this font is a little bit too thin for our 3D effect. So let's make it, let's first type in some easy looking text. Uh, 3D text demo. Let's just try that for now. All right, again, it's a little too thin, so let's find a thicker font. I'm gonna select the built-in fonts here for now. I'm gonna scroll up to, let's try, ah, here, cozy, perfect. All right, so here's 3D text. Uh, let's make it yellow for my effect. I want to show you how it looks. Okay, so. There's, a, there's yellow, and now we're going to select an outline around the text. Now, you'll notice that the outline is kind of overlapping here, but we'll, we'll fix that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is resize the text so it's a little bit bigger. And then we're going to duplicate the text. To make this fake 3D look, we're going to duplicate the text. Now, on my keyboard, I, can, I have a Mac right now. I'm going to hit Command-D. Uh, to duplicate the text. You can also hit Control D if you're on Windows, same thing. Or under the <clears throat> Modify menu, you'll find Duplicate Logo Element. See mine, it's, it's a Command D for Mac, but this changes for the for Windows. Okay, so once we duplicate the text, we're gonna, we're gonna lay it right about here. So it's just a little bit above, and I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard. You can't see me doing that, but see how the, the text is moving. Uh, and I'm going to then remove the outline from this from this next next piece. Okay, I hit done, and the outline is gone. And now I'm going to add a little shadow to this second layer here. So I'm going to add shadow, and we're going to move the shadow so it's right underneath the text about like that and position it just like I want and let's make a little bit of a blur on the shadow there we go and now we're going to duplicate the text again command D and we're going to move this up just a tad and command D again and you can see the effect beginning to take a take effect <laughs> and command D and the final thing we're going to do after we duplicate the text a couple of times, we're going to colorize the top layer so it's a little bit easier to see. I like to gradient my, if you, well, let's see what happens, watch. See if you change it, it makes it a little bit different looking, right? So let's create a gradient of roughly the same color. We're going to do a brownish, I guess, on that side, and we're going to do yellow, just a little bit different, but like that. Now, a couple of these layers look a little bit too spread out. I think if we crunch them together a little bit more. Oops, see what I did? I didn't hit the done key and it changed the color to that. So we'll change that back and now hit done. So that might happen to you every once in a while. So let's make these a little bit tighter. There, there, there. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And then finally, there. You play with this effect, you know, a little bit, um, but you got the idea. And now this can go right behind it, and there you go. Oops, let's, oh, hey, stop it. <laughs> Grab this and move it up here, and now we have a 3D text. Oh, and also set the color of the background to that because it looks much cooler. And there you go. Hope you like this tutorial, and see you next time. <laughs> 